How to navigate overthinking, deep thinking, and your emotions, especially for sensitive people that take things um, personally and to heart often, and most of the time it's not about them. So for sensitive people. So this helped me a lot. <laughs> Calling myself out. And this is how I navigate my overthinking, my deep thinking, and my emotions. So attention is one key to navigating your overthinking, focus, and discipline. All right, these three things will help you navigate overthinking, deep thinking, and emotions. Um, when you are focused on a goal or you have something that's bigger than your worries and your fear, it's much easier to stay focused and more disciplined on love and things that are bigger than you so when you have a big goal a big dream you're not really focused on the little things in life you're just ready to get to that big dream so creating your goal and your um focus that's big enough to overcome whatever you're thinking a lot about whatever you are feeling emotionally overwhelmed with is a big factor to navigating a lot of mental energy. So I have an air sign moon. I have a lot of mental energy naturally. And having something that's always bigger than myself to focus on, and that's in the energy of love, always has helped me to navigate my overthinking. All right. So attention, focus, and discipline. The big thing about this is deciding what to have your attention and focus on. So like I said, the it has to be bigger than yourself and it has to be scary in a good way. Like it has to challenge you um, to grow this goal that you are focusing on. Um, for an example, recently I have wanted to compete in pageants um, because I experienced them when I was a little girl. My mom put me in pageants and uh, I'm in college now and I have free time. So I've been wanting to go back into pageants and a big goal that kind of scares me, but it's a good challenge for me is experiencing the Miss Universe pageant. So however this may come, this is something that I'm focused on. It's something that has my attention because it excites me enough to literally not care about whatever little baby things are going on in my life or going on, not in my life, but you know what I'm saying? Like little baby things that worry me and put that to the side and like, okay, Miss Universe pageant, what would that be like? That's expansive enough where my mental is like imagining all the possible outcomes of that. So that is an example of having a goal that's bigger than yourself. So that way, when you are working daily or little things that happen in life uh, that makes you feel um challenge uncomfortable or triggers your pain body you can always stay focused on a long-term goal that it fills you up with excitement and it's also filled with love so i hope that makes sense um if it does comment down below but yes how to navigate overthinking for sensitive people you want to have attention focus and discipline discipline i would definitely say look into religious texts to see um some good laws and principles of focusing on things that uplift you so that way and then focusing on conversation that uplift you as well but i'll see y'all in another video bye